action. Just because you can't see violence against children doesn't mean it isn't there. The international community will hear us talking about the prevention of violence against children, from the effects of war themselves, but also the numbers of children that have been exposed to gang violence, armed violence, um, children who are uh, in contact with the law simply because they've run away from home. Yeah, let's talk about... We're trying to um, sort of reverse engineer some of these stories, you know. You see a scene and you see the elements of the scene, almost like a forensic investigation, you know, and you're able to sort of put together the incident or what exactly happened by the placement of objects in the scene. Everyone's going to come up with their own story. Every person from, you know, every different background and every different country is going to, you know, have their own sort of understanding of what that might be. This teacher is beating a boy for talking back in class while the rest of the class watches. And here a toddler is being hit by his mother for breaking a glass. The fact that we have child protection specialists in more than 150 countries around the world working with counterparts, working with governments, working with NGOs. Civil society is really uh, cr creating a new momentum that we haven't seen before. Make the invisible visible. Help us make violence against children disappear.